I will say like put all your heart and do the best, be the best you can be in whatever you choose and surround yourself with good energy. everyone. Welcome to another episode of Women Worldwide. Thank you so much for tuning in and for being here with us today and helping to grow this network. So let's get right to today's topic and special guest. The topic is creative inspiration and self-expression. I was on vacation recently and I said to myself that vacation equals relaxed creation but why does it have to be vacation that we're relaxed and being creative? Why can't we be creative all of the time and really push the boundaries and get curious and use self-expression to make ourselves feel better and to achieve more of what we want to do? And who better than to ask an artist about self-expression? So joining me on the show today is Gilda Garza. And Gilda is actually a celebrity famous artist. She is somebody who is known to push the boundaries of raw emotion, to captivate the soul, and to kind of spark curiosity. And Gilda, through her work, strives to convey a unique multicultural perspective of the human experience. I also wanna mention that Gilda was the first artist to exhibit on the Las Vegas Strip. So I could go on and on about Gilda, but I think it's best that she shares her journey and advice with you. So Gilda, welcome. Welcome to Women Worldwide. Hi, how are you? Good I'm morning. Good. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, well, you're welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you. And I see some artwork <laughs> behind you that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yes, in my house is artwork everywhere. Well, that I'm sure is, is inspiring. And let's just start, Gilda, with learning just a little bit about your journey and, you know, how do you become a celebrity famous artist? I'm, I'm from Sinaloa, from a little city, Los Mochis. But as a young girl, I was all the time in, I, I love Rodeo Drive. In, in, in LA and I was on my vacations all the time in uh, Roberto Cavalli dreaming to having one day one of uh, the dresses. Also, I, I love um, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel and all the time and when I stopped in LA, I was like, oh, I want to go to my, to my favorite hotel just to look around. And, and now that I'm painting, like, all my dreams been come true. Like I've been um, making an exhibition with Roberto Cavalli and then uh, Cesar, pa oh, uh, Beverly Wilshire invite me to their events. Mm -hmm. And I think I do everything with my heart. And, and the advice that I give to everybody is like, whatever you want to, you are going to do, do your best. That is really good. I mean, striving to do your best. But how did you get from a place of artist and self-expression to recognized as celebrity famous? Did you have any challenges along the way? And, and how did you, if you're known to push the boundaries, how did you actually push yourself? I think like I've been painting all my life and several artists have my art. And I don't know, like I do, I, I wake up every day and I and I fight for my dreams and then things happen to me like like for a reason there's artists that they're looking for my art I think people see my passion that I put in my work and they like what I'm doing and I I, I there's a lot of artists and big art collectors that have my artwork that's awesome did you always have the style that you have today or did you go through several phases? So somebody who's looking to, let's say, create, do you just uh, start in a certain way and then develop your talent? Did you stick with it? How did you find yourself um, and, and the strokes that you use and the way that your paintings look? Mm. No, I, I, I start like 
I've been painting all my life because my mom is an artist and but I'm I've been always with my same style but right now as the past, more time and I think it's getting better and better but I still liking the my old art that's interesting and did you always want to so your oil and acrylics yes that... oil and acrylics my mom paints oil she teach me to paint with oil and then I discovered the other media by myself and I like to use the acrylic and also oils go ahead so yes. did, did you um you know, I sort of spoke in the introduction, your self-expression, how, how do you feel that your paintings show this power of like passion and love? You know, what is it about your paintings that you really want to share with people who are looking at them? Uh -huh. I like to share happiness. I like to express with my art. There's art places that look sad and I like to show the love and happiness. In the most of my, no, in all my artwork, there's, there's a story behind. And right now I'm painting kings and queens. My inspiration come from my grandparents and my parents. Like my grandparents, he's 87 and he loves my grandmother. It's no, he's, Still sending flowers. She's alone <laughs> in life. And right now, everybody like get divorced so fast. It's too, they start dating and then they find somebody else. Goodbye, goodbye. But you need like people is losing that. And that's why I'm painting the kings and queens, not just as a partner. Like you are a queen and you deserve a, a king. And even if you're going to be with nobody, but you are a queen you have to know that you are the queen and then that's my inspiration. Oh, well, that's beautiful. I mean, your grandparents, how lovely that they're together for so long. I can yes. relate to that because my parents have been together for over 60 years and it is unique and it, it does give inspiration and hope. Yes, inspiration and hope. And that's what I'm looking for, my king. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for your king. What do you think was your biggest aha moment as an artist? Or maybe even an uh-oh moment, if you don't mind sharing. No, my the, the, the best thing happened to me, like when I start doing my exhibition, like when I make my first exhibition at the Caesar Palace Hotel, I was like, wow, like I never, like, like, but all my work, because I woke up every day, I never say no to some, I don't care if I have to drive, come back, I'm going to do everything. And, and when I was in the Caesar Palace, I was like, wow, I'm in the Caesar Palace. But then my more aha moment, the wow, is when I realized that with my art, I can help the world. I remember in my first exhibition, I wake up one day and I was like, I can't believe I'm going to be in the Caesar Palace. Like, wow, wow. And then I need to do something for the world. I, I wake up and I call the migrants from Tijuana and I say to them, uh, I, hi, I'm an artist. I'm going to do an exhibition and I want to donate uh, the, my, my one, the sales of one of my paintings to you. And they didn't know who I was. They didn't know anything. And then I sell a piece for 20 grand and I donate that to the migrants from Tijuana. And, and that's my, my best thing that can happen to me. That is beautiful. Yes. Oh my God. Like, How wonderful. Uh, like, like um, three months ago, I make a post in my Instagram, a video, and I say, okay, I'm going to paint this king. The sale of this king, I'm going to donate it to the World Woman Foundation. I didn't know how much. I didn't know anything. And I say, we are on time to help. We are on time to help. If somebody wants to donate and want a beautiful piece of art, put in here my work. And I sell that one for 80 grand. And for Amazing. me, that's, uh -huh, that's, and that was before I sell it. I, I say, this is gonna, I'm going to donate this. And that's, that's the when I feel like I can, I can do something for with with my work. Do you with, think when you give that you uh, not not that you give to receive, but when you give, do you feel like the universe gives back to you? Yes, I think yes, I think the universe, God, take care of you. But I but I don't do that because I'm 
waiting for no i'm just doing because my heart feels yeah. good for that yes that's wonderful were you nervous i, I had mentioned that you, you know you you were the first artist to exhibit on the las vegas trip is that something that was intimidating is that did that were you um ever did you ever think what happens if they don't like my art or um no feelings of not feeling as confident I, I was not like, I respect art and I understand like there's people that they like some style, there are other ones like me, some art. I all the time say, that's not my style, but I respect that. That's it. No, I was not, I was like, 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 wow, this is happening to me. Like, but I'm, nothing was for free. I do my best, like, in everything that I do. And right now, when I discovered that my art is my is my passion, I, I didn't look back. I was like, this is it. When I'm doing an exhibition, when I make an exhibition, I, I, I'm focused more in everybody to have fun, to that on me. So there's a lot of, um, and, and you don't have to be an artist, but the, however you express yourself, whether it's through art, painting, uh, drawing, illustrating, writing, there are people who say, oh, what happens if, or they're nervous to put themselves out there. What advice would you give to them? No, don't be nervous. Just do, do your best. And, and it doesn't matter if you fail and if, if nothing, but you keep trying. And, and people that get success, they, they fail or something bad or not that you was not expecting happen, but just do your best. Well, that, that certainly is good advice. Are you, um, when, when it comes to failure and success, do you look at past mistakes and see how that has helped you to grow? And, and what does success mean to you today? Success for me is like being in a place that you are happy. You can share with your family, with your with your friends. And but right now, like I I've been successful in my work, but I I'm not in the place that I want to be. I, I I'm I'm just starting with this. <laughs> so always always striving <laughs> and always striving. Yes. What does what does a day in your life look like? as an artist, how much time are you focused on the, the business of your art versus the creation of your art? I wake up every day, 6.30 a.m. At seven, I'm running. And when I'm run, I get my inspiration. When I'm doing my exercise, I'm with all my ideas. Then I come back because I have a gallery too. And I need to call people in my gallery. They have, I have uh, Mexico City, New York. So at 6 a.m. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's not just my art right now that I'm that I have all these connections with the Cesar Palace and then with the biggest galleries. I'm bringing artists and I'm connecting not just with the gallery, not just with with the galleries. Like I start by myself. I never I, I was not I never take art classes. I I, yeah. I use my social media to promote myself and and I right now with this time I, I have this connection that I want to help artists and bring them to the galleries and to these events and and you don't need to find the rules and to be first in the gallery no you can jump the rules as an artist <laughs> <laughs> so do you think social media for anybody who wants to be more self-expressive is social media the way to kind of get out there even before you get into the gallery like definitely yes i say to all the artists that i use your same uh, creativity you have for the social media because right now everything is social media right now if you see all the stores they are a lot of stores are closing closing but social media that's for me being like the best and not just post your art. People wants to know the life of the artist. What are you doing? What are you having breakfast? And then you start having your followers. And then people, he's not going to love just your art. He loves they love you. They love you. And then they, they have a story behind the art. 
Yeah, it's so important uh, showing, you know, whether you're an, a music artist, a, an oil painter, a writer, letting people know who you are and kind of behind the scenes and that you're human. I mean, social media is great for and expression and being human. Uh, it's free. Social media, open an Instagram and get start getting followers. Use your creativity in and start getting followers and then... And that's another, that's a platform where also like for me, like everything is because my social media uh, galleries contact me. I have more work. I have collaborations. I become friend to another artist and everything is because my social media. That's amazing. So what about all of, uh, you know, you hear stories about um, artists, you watch shows where uh, I remember one, one show was like a reality TV show where they had some artists on, and they were being critiqued for their work. How, how difficult or easy is it to be critiqued? And you know, what do you take forward when somebody gives you feedback? For, for a what, sorry? What, what do you take forward when somebody gives you feedback that isn't always positive? Maybe it's, you know, it's a, oh, I, a I, when, yes, yeah, like the most of like in social media, like never happened that somebody says that to me, I'm not saying that they don't think, just don't say, but sometimes the most of my comments in my social media are great eyes, keep it going. Once in a while I have a bad comment, but I, I don't, I ignore that. Like, if they are criticizing my art, I'm like, people should respect because there's a lot of artists and that's not what you like, but I, you, you should respect. But I, I, don't, I don't care. But, but if somebody told me an advice, I, I love to hear advices and more from, the, from, the, from a, a artists that have more years uh, working, I love advices. I, I love when they told me like, I have a friend and he told me, Gilda, you should paint um, the kings from not, now that you are painting kings and queens. Why you don't paint the last kings from the world? And I love his advice. And then I make it happen. And everybody loved that collection. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, there is a, a lot of helpful advice. Yes, uh, so helpful Gilda, advice. Do you paint larger pictures? Like the, the one behind you, what, do you have a name for that particular picture? Is that a part of a series? I, I do have, let me show you. I do have larger, this one. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. It's almost oh, like me. Oh, gosh, that's uh -huh. small. <laughs> yes, Amazing. I do have. I love this one. Look at, this is my queen. Oh, oh, she's beautiful. Yes. This is like inspire me, like kings and queens. And I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, yeah, like you are a queen and you deserve your king. And 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 I love that. This is the queen with a crown. Oh my gosh. And that's uh, oil paint? This, this is all oil. Yes. Okay. What's the difference yeah. between oil and acrylic? Why would you choose one over the other? Um... I like both. Acrylic, it's if uh, faster, oil takes forever. Right. Yes. Interesting. When I you... also have my art in the shares. Oh, yes. Beautiful. I think people see me with my, that I put all my heart, all my energy, and I'm not, I'm not sitting, making, no, and, 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 and when you see the passion in somebody, you want to help. You are like, oh, like, and I'm also, I'm not waiting to somebody to help me. I also like to help my friends and give them advices. And when I see them, I'm like, what we can do together? Or I, or I connect them with somebody so they can be successful. And that's another, that's I think one of my best advices, like surround yourself with with good energy, with people that wants mm -hmm. to su be successful, with with not, not to the ones, I prefer to be by myself running than to be with somebody that is, that it's bringing me bad things. No. Negative energy. Neg yes, negative energy. So do you um, do a lot of networking with friends or um, new acquaintances or learn about collaborations through social media, especially now, I mean, COVID with that going on, do you find yourself networking more 
online than in person? Um, yes, more online, definitely. More online than in person. But right now, in this uh, Corona time, I've been focused on my, on my um, gallery. I'm so excited for that, that I'm, I'm just starting with my gallery and I have the two big projects. One is going to be with Playboy. It's going to be the first time that they make a book with just art. And I bring uh, the top contemporary artists from all around the world to this book. And also I'm working with World Woman Foundation with my gallery and help them to raise money. I already give them uh, 80 grants. That's great. How long has your gallery been open? Um, just for a year. And right now it's an online gallery. Like I'm focused more on right now no because of COVID but soon I'm going to make a lot of events and connect the artists with the with the best brands and the collectors can go to the events like I have another idea of a gallery this is going to be more like fun oh and it and it definitely should be fun yes like you know, this, is, oh. this gallery is going to be like you buy art and then I'm going to invite you to the mosque to to events that's great uh -huh. Will the events be more about viewing art or no, for your own art? art? Uh, like art is a lifestyle. Like if you you start buying art to my gallery and then I, it's going to be more like a club. You, I'm going to invite you to all the exhibitions of the artists around the world. And then as I am also going to invite you to the wineries event in Napa Valley or to an event in Corcheville, depends. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. So yes. what do you like, um, it, it seems like, you know, you, you love the, the artwork, the self-expression. Do you also like being a business owner? Is there something about empowering about being an entrepreneur? Yes, I love that. I think I born like with that, with a fire, like I, I, I'm always with an idea and then, but I know that the ideas, you need to make it happen. Don't just be with ideas, make it happen. Like take the steps. Do you rely good. on a, a team around you to help Yes, you? I do have a team for my gallery. I have people from New York, from Mexico City, that they are helping me with all the social media because I'm not, I'm not an expert for social media and making videos, but I do have uh, my team. When I give them my idea, they love it. And now we're partners. Excellent. Well, you shared a lot, but I am going to ask you for maybe just some quick parting advice to the Women Worldwide Network about how they can spark their self-expression and curiosity. What would you say to them? I will say like put all your heart and do the best be the best you can be in whatever you choose. And when people see your passion and surround yourself with good energy, don't go with the people that steal your energy or not going to give you, bring you, uh, take the best from you. And then the, the, your life is going to change. Also, don't see, uh, there's a world, don't see there's people that they just, I'm, I'm from Mexico and they are just with the Mexicans. I see hearts. I don't see colors or religion or anything. And hearts and people that give you the best, bring you the best, also you to them. Well said. It looks like you you see the good in everyone. Yes. And <laughs> I mean, that's a lesson for us all. So Gil, the last question, and it's super easy. Where can people find out more about you and your artwork? Uh, my Instagram, Gilda Garza, 007, like James Bond. And <laughs> my, <laughs> I love that. And my gallery is ReneGallery.art. Rene Excellent. Gilda, thank you so much for sharing your journey and all of the advice about creative expression. We, we really appreciate you being with us today. So thank you. Thanks to you. <laughs> and thank you to all of you for tuning in today and for being here. And please keep the conversations going, the feedback coming. We love to hear from you. So until our next episode, friends, be safe, stay focused, energized, and feeling empowered. Thank you.